What is up, YouTube? Hey, guys. So I'm on my way to look and see if I can pick up an anemone for my little maroon clown in my small tank. Um, I gotta remember to get some footage of that for you. So, a little backstory. Uh, I set up this tank. That's been about a year, about a, maybe about a year and a half ago. It's a little 20, I believe it's 25 gallon Innovative Marine shallow reef tank. Um, and I set this tank up specifically for a maroon clown with an anemone. And I got the maroon clown and an anemone at the same time. Uh, it was a condylactus anemone. It was quite um, interesting because condys usually don't host an anemone, uh, clownfish. But this particular clown and this particular anemone were already coexisting uh, in the pet store fish tank. Uh, I got it from SB Reefs in Pensacola. Uh, SB has since um, merged with Escambia County, uh, let's see, Emerald Coast Coral Farms, I believe is what they're called. Um, but at the time, they were still SB Reefs. And this little clownfish and anemone just, uh, they didn't miss a beat. They, uh, I put them in my tank and they lived happily ever after up until um, my little grandbaby decided to uh, feed them. Unfortunately, she fed them to death, literally, uh, or at least the anemone. Um, so my water parameters went really haywire with all the extra food. I, I didn't, I didn't catch it. Um, I didn't know that she and my daughter as well had been uh, given this tank all this extra food. And suddenly, um, I had a large cyano bloom, algae everywhere. Uh, the anemone quickly uh, melted away, and well, the tank crashed. Long story short, everything except for the clownfish died. I also had a little mandarin goby. Um, uh, had several snails. Got a sand sifting starfish. I'm not sure if he's still in there or not. And um, I had a uh, four-stripe damsel in there with no, the, the damsel still alive as well. I had to take him out because he had gotten big enough to become aggressive and was uh, picking on the clownfish. So I put him in my 120. But um, long story short, I got around this weekend to getting everything cleaned up, cleaned out. I've uh, got the tank reset. Um, and the little clownfish is just, he's... Going around the tank, picking up stray bits and pieces of Cato algae and other debris and moving it into a corner where I go in with a net and, and, and clean it out. So he's kind of like helping me clean his tank up. Uh, but you can tell just the way he's moving around that he really, really, he's kind of, he's not exactly pleased as it were. I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's missing having an enemy. So, with that in mind, I'm going to run down to the Emerald Coast Coral Farms uh, at SB Reefs here in Pensacola, and I am going to see if I can find an anemone for this fish uh, to host in. As I said before, um, they don't typically host in condylactus anemones. Uh, he's hosted in two so far without any ill effects. I'm kind of hesitant to get another one. I'm not sure if I should press my luck with it or if I just need to find a nice bubble tip or long tentacle or, or some other anemone that is more amenable to hosting a clownfish. So at any rate, I'm going to go down here and see what they have. Um, and we'll go from there. When I get to the store, I will hook y'all back up and we'll take a quick tour through the store. I believe they're still working on getting everything set up. It's kind of like a giant warehouse now. Uh, once uh, before it was a, it was actually like a, more of a uh, pet store, fish store type uh, setting, but now it's kind of like a warehouse. So, But um, I believe that they're going to expand and begin growing uh, considerably more than they were. If you're in the local area, I highly recommend them. They're 
it's a great store. Uh, it's family operated. It's the, 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 the guy that runs it, owns it. Uh, he and his wife and their kids are just amazing with, with their customers. And very knowledgeable with the, with the livestock. Uh, very helpful people. So if, if you're in the area, I highly recommend checking them out. If you're just visiting and you have a saltwater aquarium of any kind, once again, I recommend checking them out. Of course, uh, if you're too far away, you may not want to buy anything to take it back with you, but it's really, really cool to, to go in and, and just look around and see what they've got and just, you know, chat with the, with the folks in there. They do have quite a few uh, dry supplies as well, so especially dry rock. If you're looking for dry rock, an awesome source. They have tons of it. Um, and it's cheap as well. They've got really good prices. And I'm not going to put their business information out here at this this time. But um, trust me when I say they're, they're really good. A really good shop to visit if, if you're in a great aquarium. Um, unfortunately, they downsized from freshwater and reptiles that they had in their previous store. Now they're just strictly saltwater. But they have an amazing collection of, of fish and coral and other marine life. So once again, um, if you're in there, you need to check them out. Anyway, I will check back with y'all here shortly. Let me get to the, the store. Traffic out here is kind of kind of stupid, so I'm going to concentrate on driving right now. See y'all in a minute. anemones they were sold out of, of the long tentacle and bubble tips and I'm really really hesitant to keep pushing my luck with a condi I really don't want to lose my fish um, to a brainless slug for the, basically um, the young lady in the shop told me that they might get some in next week so I'm going to go back next week and, and see what I can find. Um, right now, I'm going to head to the next shop. Uh, I'm not a real big fan of shopping corporate stores. Whenever I can shop small business, local owned business, and what have you. However, sometimes you do what you have to do. Um, anyway, I'm going to run down here to uh, Petland and see what they have in there. Uh, maybe they have something I can use, maybe not. If not, then I will just hold out until next week. Uh, apologize for the bumps. Um, road's kind of rough. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what happened. I've got a couple of short clips of some fish in there. Uh, a couple of nice gym tanks. Actually, one nice gym tank. One looks like he's been eat up on a little bit. A little bitty one. Uh, very, very, very pretty fish. Very, very, very expensive fish. Um, the little bitty one's a thousand dollars that's just too rich for my butt but anyway um so i will holler back at you in a minute and we will see what petland has